What's up guys, your agent Tyler Wayrong here and today we're going to be doing something totally different. We're going to be walking through a little more of the behind the scenes of this channel, walking through kind of exactly how much I make on this channel. I was out with some friends the other day and talking to them about what I do here and all of them are kind of like, why are you spending so much time doing that? Like how much are you really making? Is it worth your time? And to be honest, it, it made me think introspectively, like, why am I really putting so much time into this? Um, you know, I am super active, uh, you know, got my hands on several businesses, have my own rental portfolio, have my own other real estate business, active agent, and most importantly, a family man over all that really try to spend time and make sure I have that present time with my family on a daily basis. So where do you find time to fit in all these YouTube videos that you've done over the last couple of years and why the hell even do it in the first place? Well, I at least thought it would be helpful to share with all of you guys. I thought you guys might have some of the same questions. And for those who may have a passion they have as well in considering YouTube, just to see, you know, what's even possible. You know, when I first started out, I had just no clue what was even possible. If you even could get paid for doing this um, or if there were other you know, avenues in which to generate income off of YouTube. So with all that said, let's go ahead and dive over to my screen. I'm going to first talk to you guys and show you exactly what I've made this past year, 2023 on YouTube, what YouTube has paid me. And then we'll look at some more, we'll kind of break it down some more and talk more about the insights of this channel. If this has no interest to you at all, and you're just here for the real estate stuff, I appreciate you checking in. We'll catch you on the next one. I got more stuff lined up for this year, but for those who are interested, let's go ahead and check it out. So if you don't know, uh, YouTube analytics, they give, they give you a ton of data um, about your channel in hopes that you can use it to grow and make better content for their platform, right? It's kind of a win-win when, uh, you know, someone like me or someone out there creates a good video, you're on their platform, people pay them to advertise and then they pick which creators they decide to show these ads on. So this is basically a, how I get paid or how creators get paid is a split from their ad revenue. So they get paid, they give us a cut of it if they show our ads on our video. So with all that being said, uh, by default, it comes up and shows you the last seven days. So as you can see here, I made seven, seven, uh, 91, the last seven days, but for transparency and for context, let's take a look at, uh, 2023. Um, so you'll see last year and just for context too, I, I have just 3,300 subscribers. Um, and so last year I made $1,182 and 99 cents. Um, and as you can see, it gives you some context, like that was 23% less than what you made in 2022. Um, we'll look at that here in just a minute as well, but give you lots of, uh, of good data points like views, watch time, subscribers, etc. that you're getting a little bar chart here that shows, Hey, you were making like a lot more throughout the year. And then it kind of tailored off towards the end of the year. And as you can see, that was also the same amount of time I wasn't making as many videos. So, so yeah, so 2023, I made 1100 whopping dollars. Um, not anything you, uh, you know, are able to quit your day job over or do this full time with where I'm at now. It's totally possible. There are lots of people out there that do that, but, um, yeah, just for context, that's, that's kind of what, where it is. So let's look at, um, I thought a more interesting figure would be kind of look at it from a lifetime. So since I started on YouTube back in, um, uh, when was that that I started, uh, 2021. So January, 2021. So two years, roughly two or give or take years ago. Um, so when I started, kind of really started the channel in hopes of just sharing, uh, general real estate advice. And then I kind of pivoted and just said, you know, I'm kind of tired of talking about general stuff. I really want to dig into what I'm passionate about and what you guys ask me questions about. That's my favorite topic is to jump in and help, um, with where you guys are and what problems you're, you're facing, um, versus here's what equity is. Um, I think that's, that's a little, just not my style if I'm being honest. So as you can see, January, um, this bottom line here is when you're unmonetized. So you do have to have a certain, you have to have a thousand subscribers and like 400 hours of watch time before they start to uh, monetize you or where they start to pay you for your video. So took me about a year to a little over a year to get monetized. And then from here on is we showing the actual revenue where I've made a whopping total of $2,700 over the last two years. So now since this is a hobby, I think that's not too bad. 
Um, now, yeah, a lot of in my friends, when they were arguing this concept with me, like, you know, all the things that you have going on, you know, arguably your hourly rate, you know, is in the couple hundred dollars of hours uh, per hour, per se, because you're into all these real estate, you can make pretty, you can make a lot of money in real estate. Let's just put it at that. But you're doing all this and you made $2,700. And just, <laughs> I thought this was funny. I went back and looked at how many videos that I've made since this came out and it was 98. So I made 98 videos and guys, I do everything on my own. Um, up to this point. So I'm shooting it, I'm recording it, which is probably why you see, uh, you know, the non-professionalness, uh, like some of these other creators who have full-time editors and such, but I made 98 videos and I'll just say at a minimum, a video takes me an hour to do after I'm filming it, editing, trying to come up with a funny thumbnail that you guys might click on. And then, um, you know, publishing it, watching in these analytics, answering comments, etc. So let's look at, let's do 27, 22 divided by 98 videos will give me an hourly rate on YouTube of $27.75. And that's before I pay taxes. So YouTube does send me a 1099. I got to pull taxes out of that as well. So I think by this point, you probably understand this is not a huge revenue generator for me that I don't do this for the money. Um, and so ultimately when I came to, and I thought about this introspectively, um, when I was having this conversation with some other real estate investors, um, folks that are kind of in my sphere, what I ultimately came to is I, I really do this for you guys. Um, like I said, when I first started out, I had other goals, but the, the real value I get from kind of carving out time to do this is, um, and I was just looking through some comments here earlier, is really just all the people who've come out and reach out and say like, wow, like, um, you know, I was kind of stuck here. You answered my question on this and now I'm able to do X. So man, that, that's what really kind of keeps me going is knowing that I helped just one person get over whatever hump they're up against in the real estate, um, you know, spectrum, some, wherever they're at. If you're able to wholesale your first deal, if you're able to open that first HELOC, if you have a HELOC open, using it incorrectly, and now you have a better understanding and you're taking the correct or just a the right steps forward to move whatever goal you have in your life forward. Uh, for me, that's the the big um, reward and why I carve out time from everything else I'm doing, um, you know, really just to share this. I do enjoy hopping on here, keeping you guys current and kind of being that source that go to. Um, I, I kind of pride myself on not being a sellout, not doing what I see a lot of other creators do of just kind of throwing content on the wall, um, taking any affiliates they get that they don't really believe in. So yeah, just, just really want to be that, that source of truth and build that level of trust. So hopefully that resonates with you guys who have stuck around and come here for that level of insight. And I've had countless conversations, relationships, offline uh, people who reach out to me directly and kind of pour, you know, build those deeper relationships, tell me more about, you know, how this channel kind of opened their eyes and to do different things. I've created multiple relationships with lots of private lenders out there. So appreciate you guys for reaching out and lending into my business. Um, I've actually lent some other folks some money who have reached out and I've kind of helped them get started on their own deal. So this is more of just a passion project for me. Really just enjoy doing this and happy that you guys are watching and supporting um so that you know I can kind of keep this going. The other point that I didn't take out of that $27 per hour were things like I poured most of that probably back into this channel. So things like this microphone, things like um I got lights and uh some other cool things that I've tried to buy just to not make my videos look like total crap. Um you know, bought a nice camera uh, to do that. So I'm probably a break even or a nonprofit at this point, the way things are going. But hopefully you guys got some value, some entertainment value out of this. Hopefully it just resonates a little bit more about why I'm here, why I'm doing this. Um, obviously, I think I could build this out to be a revenue uh, generator. But YouTube really looks at this from a perspective of consistent output. So if you notice a lot of the big creators, people like Graham Stephan, um, some of these guys who are professional YouTubers, they're putting out videos multiple times a week. And I, look, I'll give it to them, you know, hats off. Oh, I'm not taking my hat off right now, but to those guys for really putting in that, that commitment. However, when, when I tried to do that, at one point I did commit to putting out several videos or at least one video per week. 
what I found was that I was, instead of giving you guys my true um, heart of what I think it would be relevant, I, I found myself kind of just coming up with topics that I didn't really care about, that I didn't think you guys would care about, but it was more just fluff just to keep YouTube happy. And I ultimately decided that's not what I want this to be. I don't I don't just want to be a, in my mind, that's like a, you're selling out to the the, the big guys, the big uh, corporations, just to to make them happy and to kind of float, you know, build up, uh, pad my cash flow uh, from YouTube and, you know, just ultimately decided it wasn't right for me, not to knock anyone else who does that. Some people put out phenomenal content on a regular basis. Um, so it's definitely possible, just not my cup of tea, not the type of creator I want to be. But guys, with that, I appreciate you sticking around. I appreciate all the support over the last couple of years and I hope that continues moving forward. As always, I'll try to keep giving you guys the most valued advice that I can, sharing my personal journey and hope to watch you guys grow with me along the way. But with that, guys, I'm Tyler Wayrung and we'll catch you next